Hi. Uh, in reply to a question that was posted on the uh, the ePlan forum in English, uh, I put this uh, video together uh, just to explain a little bit my preferred workflow when working with uh, uh, distributed terminals. So just so that we uh, agree on the terminology, uh, distributed terminal is uh, in fact a terminal where we take each of the connection points so here, for example, I have four connection points, A, B, C, D. I take each one of them and I represent them maybe on different pages or, or on different locations on the same page, but whatever, they are distributed. The, 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 we're not showing four connection points in the same location. So how to start with this is really from the part. You really have to start from the part. So I created myself here. Actually, I copied a... Uh, uh, Phoenix contact terminal, but uh, I, I renamed it with another name, stlm.12345. And uh, what I did is I made sure so that it matches my uh, example that I chose the terminal with saddle jumper for connection points function. So when you come here, you can select many different types of terminals. The one I'm using is a terminal with saddle jumper for connection points. And I'm naming these four connection points. I'm giving them designations, in this case, A, B, C, D, to match what I have here on my uh, drawing. It could be one, two, three, four. It could be whatever you want. It just has to be a designation. It has to be unique. Uh, I prefer A, B, C, D because uh, it really distinguishes it from the, uh, the terminal number itself. So let's, uh, let's take a look how this would work in the, uh, in the real world. So what I did first, in my terminal strips uh, navigator, I created myself a terminal strip definition object. Uh, it's basically there, maybe, for example, if I want to give uh, a function text, so power distribution, or it could be uh, 24 VDC distribution, which is a very typical case where you have these uh, distributed terminals. If I just go like this. And then I will create my terminals by using the new terminals devices. Uh, I'm going to create, let's say, five of them for this terminal strip. What I have to do is give the numbering pattern. I will say from one to five. I, so I want terminals one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll assign a part number to that. And of course, I'm going to choose my part. And uh, so ePlan recognizes right away that it needs to create five new functions or five new terminals. And indeed, here they are. And in case you wonder why my navigator is showing up this way, maybe yours is different. It's because I right click here and chose view device oriented. And in this case, I really see each terminal as a separate device, which really helps when working with distributed terminals. Now, another setting that we need to prepare up front is uh, from Option Settings. And uh, you will go under um, here, under the settings, maybe you look up like uh, distributed or whatever start typing and then it gives you terminals distributed terminals and so the function that i'm using as a default for that is precisely the same terminal with saddle jumper for connection points and here is a little uh you know a gotcha is that it, this has to be four in my case otherwise eplan will not place individual terminals or individual connection points uh what what it's saying here is that i Whenever I'm going to drag a terminal from my navigator onto the schematic, it will start placing if the terminals, the, the chosen terminal, has at least these this number of connections, so four. So in my case, it will, uh, you know, uh, create distributed terminals. All right, so let's try that. I simply choose my X11 terminal and I drag it here. Now you see that it offers me the A connection point. If I press the letter N, I could cycle through that A, B, C, D. So I'll go back to A. I'll turn it around just to connect it to my fuse. OK, 
because this is my 24 volt DC fuse, for example. Uh, and by the way, if you don't have that symbol attached to the cursor, what you can type is backspace on your keyboard, and then you'll get this, uh, this dialog and you check symbol selection and you click OK. And then you will choose the uh, terminal symbol, which is X1NB. This is the one I, I chose to use because it has only one connection point. And I think it, it really uh, goes well with what I'm trying to do. So let me choose this one and put it right there. So now it's ePlan wants to continue placing uh, functions on that same terminal. It's offering me B, but I'm going to escape. And now I'm going to go to my second page, which has a black box device, very simple. But what I want to show is that this X11 terminal is actually providing 24 volt DC to that device. So, of course, now it's offering me B. I just turned that guy around, connect it right there. And uh, so now I see that A and B have been taken. I still have C and D remaining as a function template. And uh, if I refresh my connection, just to make sure, I will highlight uh, the signal with the signal tracking functionality. Now my connection turns yellow because the, that is the color of the signal tracking. And if I go to my previous page, I see that it is also yellow here. So what that means is that if I have a wire number or connection designation, sorry, uh, on both sides, uh, they will, if, if your uh, numbering is set to the uh, extent of signal, then uh, it will pass on the, the, the proper uh, connection designation. Uh, so this is my preferred workflow. Again, if you look here, I didn't have to mess with any properties in here. If I look at that terminal, you see there's the sort code, there's the terminal device position, and there, there, there's a whole lot of properties that ePlan really needs in order to uh, properly create the distributed terminal. For example, here, automatically distributed terminal is checked. Uh, main terminal in this case is not checked because I'm on B. But if I go on A, then here, yeah. So that these are all properties that need to be properly set. And if you're doing that manually, then uh, it's, it's more tedious. So if you can work from the device um, and from the part definition, then uh, you should be all right. So I hope this is uh, helpful and uh, I'll uh, catch you later in another video. Bye-bye.